Hi everyone, this is Amy Hager here and I'm here to share with you why your boyfriend won't make you happy. Okay, so the reason why your boyfriend won't make you happy is first of all, nobody can make you happy. Nobody can make you feel anything. Your emotions are yours. Okay, once you start to take ownership of your emotions, then you can start to see what's going on inside. So we have a tendency when we get into relationships to like expect one person to fulfill all these needs for us. We have these, this long, tall order of things. Believe me, I know. I'm an extreme person. I expect a lot out of people. I have high expectations. I want the best, okay? and. All I have to say is that yes, you deserve the best, but you deserve the best from many different people in your life who can fulfill all of those different needs. So it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a different partner, but it might mean that you have different friendships or you have family members or you have different people in your life that serve different needs. So here is an example. So for example, I like to go traveling. I like to dance. Uh, I'm interested in ballroom dancing kind of stuff and um, I'm an extrovert, okay? I like to go out and I like to socialize. Now, my partner is an introvert. He has no desire to go out doing any of this dancing stuff with me, and he's not into traveling. So you know what? It doesn't mean that's the end of the relationship. It doesn't mean that that's not a person that I don't love or I don't care about. That just means that we have differences. That just means that we don't like all the same things. It's not a big deal. Here's what we do like together. We like to raise our children together. We're growth junkies. We love to do personal development and growth. Like we could spend hours talking about that stuff. Oh, and we also love to share our same vegan lifestyle together. So those are three amazing things. Like I get to live with this awesome person who likes to live the same lifestyle as me and who loves my children as much as I do and who loves to do all this self-development growth work, which I am like a super huge fan of. Like I love that stuff. So that's great. He fulfills those needs. So yeah, maybe I got to go traveling with a good friend of mine. That's okay. I'm going to just go and do that because I've waited for a while and I'm sitting there thinking ah oh, like you know playing that perfect victim he doesn't want to do this he doesn't want to do that my life sucks because this and this that's not true just go and make plans with somebody else it's not a big deal and once that person sees you having fun maybe they're gonna to want to tag along so just go and live your best life don't wait for anybody you know another perfect example is you know some people like to go golfing but they're like oh I don't have anyone to golf with don't wait just go go alone you know, don't be afraid to do things alone. Don't be afraid to go out to eat alone. Don't be afraid to, you know, that's kind of how you open yourself up for other people to think, oh, okay, maybe I can go and, you know, I'm at this restaurant alone too. Maybe I can ask this person to come with me next time, you know? So you're, you're creating opportunities when you start to do things alone as well. Don't worry about what your partner is doing all the time. Like you can have multiple people in your life in order to help make you happy. And, that, and really, again, you have to take ownership of your feelings. Nobody can make you feel anything. A lot of our feelings are things that have happened to us in the past. So in the past, you know, a certain event might have happened and it made us feel a certain way. And what's going on right now might happen and it might remind us of that event that happened in the past. And then all of a sudden we tag on that same emotion. The first thing you wanna do is create an awareness. What's going on? Like what things have happened? What created certain beliefs? What triggers certain emotions? And how can you turn that around? How can you start to empower yourself instead of being a victim? How can you become your own hero? A couple of years ago, I'm sitting there, you know, at like one of the lowest points in my life and I'm looking up all of these um, tarot cards, you know, as if it's my lifeline, like, oh, please give me the answers and <laughs> give me the answers to what I need to do in my life to fix it, right? Well, I pick up this card and it says, you are your own best hero. And there was a part of me that just wanted to be like, ah! like, I want somebody to save me. I want to be rescued. You know, who doesn't want to be that damsel in distress and wants to get like swept off their feet, you know, and have their Prince Charming just take them away and fix everything for them, right? Well, you know, even if that did happen, that would only solve the problem temporarily because at the end of the day, there's going to be things that you still need to do in your life. Like you still need to find your purpose in life. Have you spent any time alone uh, just really discovering who you are? Have you spent time doing things that you love? Do you know and love yourself? 
How is your relationship with yourself? How do you talk to yourself? So when you start to develop those things, when you really start to hone in on yourself, when you start to develop yourself like crazy and you start to find all the things that make you happy and you just start doing them and you start to empower yourself, you no longer are dependent on the rest of the world to make you happy like your boyfriend or like your mom or like somebody else that you're waiting around for somebody to do the right things so that you can finally be happy. Well. You have the power. It's kind of like Dorothy and Toto in The Wizard of Oz. You always had the power. The power is within you. So look deep inside your heart. Spend time alone. Spend time meditating. Don't be afraid to go out and do things alone. Go to restaurants. Go travel alone. I could go traveling alone. Why not? That's awesome. I'll just meet other people who like to travel. You know? So there's just so many opportunities in a lot of the things that happen to us and we need to stop waiting around for somebody else to finally make us happy. Because if we wait around, we're going to wait around too long and then it's going to be too late. Make yourself happy now. If you haven't already, go on this journey of self-discovery. Find who you are. Maybe you need to meditate. Maybe you need to spend a lot of time alone. That time alone is actually a very spiritual time. It's a time of self-discovery, you know, and it's actually so cool. There's really not very many times in your life where you're going to be alone like that. So you can say thank you. Thank you for giving me this time where I could have time to think. I have time to explore and take advantage of that. Don't just sit around feeling sorry for yourself. And finally, in order to make yourself happy, you have to let go of low level energies. You have to let go of resentfulness, anger, hate, uh, bitterness, holding grudges. Do you hold a grudge? Are you very prideful? That stuff is not going to make you happy. Yeah, you might be right, but did you get what you want? So you have to think about all of that stuff, you know? So think, how can I forgive the fastest? How can I work things out with people I love? How can I create, manifest the things that I want in my life? That is what's cool. When you start to tap into that stuff, that is what's cool. That's what I want to share with you guys. You have the power to manifest the most beautiful, wonderful, amazing life of your life. Isn't that awesome? So I just think that's cool. I think that's so cool. For so long, I didn't know that. For so long, I, I was lost. I was like you guys. I know how you feel. For so long, I just, you know, kept praying and meditating and thinking, oh, when is everything going to get better? You know, I was totally that damsel, that victim. You know, I was that person who was angry at my mom. I was angry at everybody else. I was angry that, you know, my partner wasn't running the business the way I wanted to, him to run it. You know, and at the end of the day, we just have a different style. It's not a big deal. And we sit there and we take everything so personally. We take it personally because we're like, you did this because you wanted to hurt me. You did this to get back at me. You know, that's not true. Nobody's doing anything to you. People have their own issues, their own little bag of shit, okay? <laughs> People are doing things to, uh, to help fulfill their soul's purpose. And none of that stuff is personal, especially things that your boyfriend does, okay? So, yeah. Life is really cool, <laughs> it's interesting. And when you start to really sit back and uh, observe what's going on, you're gonna start to like those things that trigger you. You're gonna be like, oh, I'm learning a little bit more about myself. Oh, I see I do have this belief pattern. Like, how can I change that? That's, is that really serving me? You know? I don't know. You're going to start to see the humor in all of this growth process. It's really funny. when you. I'm going to look back when I'm an old lady. I'm going to be like, remember when I was so pissed off about this and this and this? You know, was that really a big deal? Was that really worth it? No. You know, as my brothers would say, don't get your panties in a bunch over the small stuff, okay? Worry about the bigger stuff and focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. When you focus on yourself, that's how you're going to find your happiness. So sending you guys so much love. And you know, I have an e-course coming up and a free ebook, Weight Loss for Moms. If you're interested, click on that link below. I'm here to help you guys. 
and uh, you know in the course we're gonna be going through a lot of this stuff you know because really like weight loss is a, is a mindset thing we sit there and we think that weight loss is all about what we're eating and our calories and a lot of it is you know just what's going on in here so that's why these videos are so important for you guys so if you have any comments please leave them down below I love hearing what you guys have to say and if you like this channel please like subscribe click on that bell for notifications so you can be notified when I have a new video I'm doing daily videos and I'm just sending you guys so much love peace and happiness I'm doing this video so you guys can find your happiness I'm doing this video because for so long I didn't know where my happiness was I'm doing this video so that you guys could skip over some of those hurdles that I went through Maybe I could teach you. <laughs> Maybe I could teach you how to avoid all the pain and suffering I went through. Okay. So peace out, you guys. Bye bye.